I like to discuss 14 key filter design specification. For this video, I will start with the first nine discussion to describe the performance of the filter. The first one will be the types of filter. There are many four types of filter, low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter, band stop or band reject filter. Next, center frequency. Where is the center frequency? For example, for a band pass filter, the center frequency locate right at the middle of the pass band. Next, cutoff frequency. Cutoff frequency definition is basically we know the maximum point. For example, this is the maximum point of S21. When the signal reduced by 3 dB, this is the frequency that we actually denote as cutoff frequency. Next will be stop band frequency. For filter design, most of the time we quantify, for example, after 40 dB, we quantify them as stop band. So again, from the maximum point of S21, when the signal reduced by 40 dB, this is what we classify as stop band frequency. In short, you can see that the signal actually transit from the pass band to stop band. Anything more than the stop band frequency, we call this stop band because they are not able to pass through the filter anymore. Next will be the bandwidth. Okay, earlier on, I mentioned that the maximum point reduced by 3 dB on the right and the maximum point reduced to 3 dB on the left. I take the upper cutoff frequency minus the lower cutoff frequency. This will give me the bandwidth of the bandpass filter. Next, the selectivity factor Q. Okay, selectivity factor Q has an inverse relationship with bandwidth. Okay, for example, we have low bandwidth will be high Q. We have a high bandwidth, I actually has a low Q. In fact, selectivity factor is actually depend on the skirt of the filter. If I'm going to have a steep skirt, then this is called high Q. And if I'm going to have a gentle slope, then this will be so-called low Q. Next will be the shape factor. Shape factor is actually equals to the bandwidth of the stop band over the bandwidth of the pass band. Insertion loss. When we actually insert anything in between, for example, for this case here, I insert a band pass filter in between amplifier and antenna, you bounce to have some form of loss. This is what we quantify as insertion loss. Without the filter, I will have the signal at this level. When I actually introduce the filter, the signal actually reduce. So this is what we quantify as insertion loss. VSWR and return loss. The green color is the S21 while the blue color is the S11, which is the return loss. You can see that S21 and S11 has an inverse relationship. With this, if you're keen to know more, see the playlist under the description.